Good morning, everybody. This is Liz Schoed, Registered Dietitian and Director of Clinical Nutrition at Jackson Purchase Medical Center and doing another Learning with Liz lesson today with you guys. So today I thought I would talk a little bit about um, a topic, it's called malnutrition. Have you ever heard of malnutrition before? Malnutrition is when a person's body is undernourished. So this is something that's actually pretty common with a, a lot of people, especially say in the elderly setting, but it also can be somebody that's not considered to be an elderly person. Also, when we think of malnutrition, um, we think, oh, it's a little bitty lady who weighs 110 pounds and she, she doesn't eat very well and she comes in the hospital and we do labs on her and see that she's malnourished. But also, malnutrition can be with somebody who's, we call it overnutrition, that they eat way too much, and, but they may not eat the right kinds of foods. So when you do their lab work, we see that the person's actually in a malnutrition state, which is kind of crazy. So an example of that would be, say, someone who maybe they're overweight um, and they weigh, they weigh 300 pounds and we do their labs and it shows us that their albumin level, that's what we look at to determine if somebody has malnutrition is low. And, and you're like, well, how can somebody weigh 300 pounds but be malnourished? But it happens. It can definitely, definitely happen. So as I said, overnutrition, um, it, it comes from eating too many calories. Um, but they're just not eating enough of that nutritious foods, um, such as fruits and vegetables. They're not doing those whole grains, the lean protein, um, low fat dairy, things such as that. So how we correct that malnutrition state is trying to improve with our diet if we possibly can. So trying to make sure that we're having, you know, protein. So we're having whether or not it's chicken, it's turkey, it's fish, it's, it's if a person has, if they're a vegetarian, including um, those, you know, things like white beans, brown beans, black beans, trying to make sure we're getting some good protein sources in our diet. <clears throat> so that will help that albumin level to come up where it needs to be. If someone is in the hospital and they have malnutrition, the, the registered dietitian then is, is going to look at that patient, work with that patient, try to give them foods that are going to improve their nutritional um, status, whether or not it's with a supplement or increasing their protein intake and things such as that. Um, if somebody is getting ready to have surgery, and I, I think I've talked about this in another lesson, if you're getting ready to have surgery, you know, you want to make sure your body is in as good nutritional um, status as it can be before you have that surgery because it leads to better outcomes after surgery. If somebody um, is in the hospital and they don't eat for like three days, do you know what? We start losing muscle mass at that point. So it's very important that we try to eat as soon as we can if we've had some kind of problem while we're in the hospital surgery, that type of thing. And we try to eat as well as we can. So if you need any helpful hints about this or if you've got surgery coming up and you're wondering, gosh, am I eating all right? You know, just, just drop us a line or, or give me a call and I can see what I can help you out with this. But this is a problem that actually occurs very, very often. So just trying to eat a little bit healthier if we can, eat, eat those, those carbohydrates, eat that protein, eat that fat, so that way we can make sure our body is in as good nutritional state as it can be. So I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. As I said, if you have any questions um, about today's topic, please just drop us a line or you can give me a call. Or if you have any other subject that you would like for us um, to talk about, please just you know leave us a little suggestion. So I hope everyone has a great day today and try to eat healthy.